yeah. the eventual NBA champion. Yeah. Uh, uh, Patty Mills will make big shots. I don't care what you say. He takes and makes. Well, he ain't making none against Boston. Well, I, okay, so it was just one series, and it fell back on KD and Kyrie. Listen, you, you, if you're trying to diss Patty Mills right now, no. you, you have no idea what you're talking no, about. No. That little man has made as many big shots as anybody I know. Keep skill. Listen, he, over time, yeah. he shot your Miami Heat yes. right through the heart. He, he's made big shots, and he can make big shots. I thought, and, and I said it, Skip, at the time of his signing, I said this is a very unheralded signing, but it's going to pay huge dividends when you got Harden, okay. KD, and Kyrie. Okay, well, Seth can just flat out shoot oh, yeah. it. I, but, I don't care. He's got some curry in him. Yes, he does. But what transpired? The same thing that transpired with Joe Harris happened with Seth Curry. They become defensive liabilities. What did, what did Boston do? Okay. Who did they attack? Okay, okay, I got you. But I'm going to finish this out. Cam Thomas, every time I watch him, even in the summer league, he can flat out Oh, he's a scorer. He's, he's a just a yeah, scorer. He, he go get buckets. And, and, and he's still just a baby to me, and yeah. he's figuring it out. I'm just telling you, they have snipe ability all around the perimeter that LeBron doesn't have right now because he's stuck with the guy in West Brick who was the dead last three-point shooter in all of basketball. I'm talking about statistically 29.7%. Even at that, he's not worse than Ben Simmons from the three. Okay, thank you for bringing up Ben Simmons. Who has LeBron said is like a little brother to him? Who has he quote-unquote mentored? Who is a clutch client who knows LeBron very well, who has like a soul connection with LeBron James? It's Ben Simmons. So if anybody can sort of rehabilitate Ben psychologically, it's LeBron. Yeah. And, and all Ben Simmons is, is the last two years that he played, he made first team all defense. He's a defensive player of the year candidate. You don't think that's going to help them? But you believe that the large part of the season last year had more to do with this than back there. I, I, I do. I don't know that for a fact, but if it's this that's the problem, LeBron, of all players, can fix that, especially for him. Uh, you don't think so? I, no, you I, I'm making a strong case here because you know I'm right about this. If anybody can get the best out of Ben Simmons, it's LeBron James. And there's a whole lot of best to get out of him. Okay, you keep saying LeBron wants to get out from under Russ. Didn't KD get out from under Russ? Okay, I'm, w w let's finish okay. this side of it. Let's do this okay. side of the trade. Okay. They have already gone out and gotten Royce O'Neal, who will help their perimeter defense exponentially. He's a really good perimeter defender, and they got him just for that reason. And then they signed Nicky Claxton, who he can rim protect. Yeah. He's still a little light in the back end, but, right. but he is a shot blocker yeah. and a shot changer. So you, you've done that. And then T.J. Warren is sort of a, like a diamond in the rough. I don't know what he's – he's been hurt, but – He's been hurt the last two okay, years. I know, but he is a flat-out natural-born scorer himself yes. and a shooter. So they, they've got lots of little pieces in place. And what has been uh, – according to all the reports, LeBron has been rooting for, pushing for, playing with Kyrie. Yeah, in he L.A., was, not in Brooklyn. Okay, okay, I got it. But he could reunite with Kyrie in Brooklyn, in the Big Apple. It would make Kyrie happy – because Kyrie wants to close the narrative on LeBron, come full circle, <laughs> because he regrets that he blew it up prematurely. That's the, the whole point yeah, of this, I'll, right? I'll, I'll agree okay, with that, yeah. I think they could be really good together after Kyrie has, quote, unquote, grown up. I'm not sure he has, but, but he's grown up in his view of LeBron, okay. right? Okay, so all that works for me because all of a sudden, the, the East is still not as difficult as the West. I don't care what you say. The West just seems to get stronger and stronger at the top. So w what chance does LeBron have of actually contending for a championship next year in L.A.? Next to none. The same because, as Kevin Durant has. Okay. Uh, what are you talking about? Kevin Durant, where? Oh, so you think Kevin, you think because of... Uh, okay, I haven't uh, gotten to the other side. I'm just telling, we're, we're finishing up. Listen to me. You're not listening. It, if, if you get LeBron in the East with, with Kyrie and all those snipers, you, you, all of a sudden... Why you won't you, mention Ben Simmons? You, you, you keep saying Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie. I, I didn't mention him. I detailed. At least Russ can reassume his role as the point guard. And I've told you before, what can happen with Darvin Ham being the new sheriff in town, you don't have to play Russ as high a minutes as Frank Vogel was intimidated into doing. I told you, Scotty Pippen Jr. can flat out run the point. He knows how to play basketball. You can give him 15 to 20 minutes a game to run the point, use Russ as some sort of two or three guard or whatever he is. I don't even know what he is anymore. Muddle through next year. Just because you have the best player on the planet, you're still going to be very good. You might surprise people, 
But once you get out from under 47.1 million, look out above because here will come the Lakers because they can go get anybody they want to add to Kevin Durant and Anthony Davis and all the rest that they have assembled. But you say, you say that with guaranteed certainty. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant's going to be happy and want to be in L.A. So, what, so why would he? If, if he wants out, you're getting him to Los Angeles, where, by the way, he has an off-season home. Skip, oh, you know, who wouldn't be happy? He wanted out of Lakers? OKC. He left. He wanted out of Golden State. He left. Now he wants out of Brooklyn. He's about to leave. So now, all of a sudden, he's wanted out of three places, two of the places he's already left. He could possibly leave a third. So if he goes to L.A., that means he would have left three places. But this is where he's going to find his bliss. This is where he's going to find his utopia. Okay, well, if he wants out, you told me he wants out of Brooklyn. Skip. You've you've told me for two straight weeks. Skip, skip. You can't. You just can't make okay, him stay okay, in Brooklyn. Okay, okay. okay, send him to the Lakers okay, but, where he's got a home. Okay. You don't think he'd be happy with that? So I think he, he got would a, be ecstatic. So he ain't got a home in New York. I I don't know what he has there. It's probably like an apartment. Okay, but my thing is, Skip. You keep saying send him, send him, send him. What makes you gonna be? What makes you think he's gonna be happy once he gets to this destination? Well, you, How just, you, you just told me he's not an unhappy camper. He'll do whatever happens. Like he'll he'll go ahead and suck it up. He's not a powder. He's more of a player. So if you send him to Anthony Davis, he'll say, okay, let's so, go. So so in other words, he won't. He'll say, let's go, but he won't do that in Brooklyn. Because I'm asking you a simple question. You keep telling me he's this, this, and this. What makes you think, given Kevin Durant's history, his 15-year career, career history, the last 10 of them, he's been unhappy about something. What makes you think all of a sudden he's going to be happy in L.A.? Because it's L.A.? Because it's the <laughs> Lakers? Because you have a chance to compete for another championship? Skip the man, skip the man. Listen, listen if, if he goes to L.A., and I know this is very hypothetical, I don't think it's going to happen because I think Joe is going to say, no, I've been on record from at moment one about that. But if he went to L.A., I guarantee you, I am guaranteeing you, he would be very happy because within one more year, they would be at the top of the heap that they will be contending for champ. He would have three more years to contend for a championship, and I believe they would win one or two. Skip, can you, can you have it any better than what he had it in Golden State? Okay, but he did that. He already been there, done that. But what you, they, but you they, keep they, saying happy. They begged him to come and save Steph's legacy, and he saved it twice, 17 and 18. But you keep, Finals MVP. But you keep saying happy. How much more happy hey, can well, a I, guy be? I don't care. I, I don't know. I mean, to go to the Lakers and get to play with Anthony Davis? I, I mean, come he on. Play, he was playing with his best friend in Brooklyn. Okay, well, obviously, I just told you, they have clearly fallen completely apart. They're go they've gone Splitsville. He, he wants out. He already requested. Why do you think he requested a trade out from under Kyrie? Because he's unhappy. Okay. The same reason he left OKC. Okay, well, it's I don't something. Care about it's same happiness. All, all he did was win back to back finals MVP. Okay. How unhappy was that? Skip. Yeah, okay, then. But he still wasn't enough to make him stay. Now, so what's the problem? Okay, so what's causing him to leave Brooklyn? Well, you tell me. I don't know. No, you tell okay. me. Well, you, you seem no, to have no. a psychiatrist. No, you, you well, know no you're the one. You're the one who, over the last two weeks, you told me, Skip, it just won't work anymore. He wants out. You got to let him go. Skip the man. You got to let him go. That's question. what you've been Skip. telling me. The and all of a sudden, you flipped again. Skip. The man requested a trade. Okay. If so he was what? happy, people that are happy, people that are happy in their current job situation, don't go looking okay. for another job or ask to leave this job. Clearly, he's unhappy there. Okay. Do you think he'd veto a trade to the Lakers? He doesn't have veto power. He has no okay. trade. Okay. Well, he doesn't have any. He's got four years on his contract right now, and you're saying you got to move him. What? To which side of your mouth Skip. are you talking Skip. out of? Skip. All I, I don't get it. Skip, what I'm saying is the man requested a trade. Okay, so okay. This, this is a beautiful one right Skip, here. It, this one Skip. works. This year. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, because the Nets are right back in business this year. It's an immediate turnaround to yes. Oh, so in other words, LeBron James is better than Kevin Durant because why can't Kevin Durant turn around in just like that? East, and and I'm, I'm here to tell I've already made it clear to you, the Lakers are suddenly better with KD than they'd, they'll ever be with Well, LeBron. I mean, the, the, the stats said that the, Lakers, the Nets would be three, three wins better with LeBron than KD. Okay. 
Who, who says that? Rich? John Hollinger, analytics analyst. Okay. Uh, well, 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 some projection. No, 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 projection. That. That's what we do. We talk about projections. Okay, now, who, okay <laughs> wait a second. Let, let me get you on record. Who is the better player right now, Kevin Durant or LeBron James? It's not close. It's Kevin. It's Bleeping six and one hand, half a no, dozen. No, I couldn't tell. Skip, if he, that, skip. Okay.